Hey there everybody, welcome back to Headphones Neil Reviews. I'm your host as always, Headphones Neil, bringing you my review for an Android app, and in this case it's going to be an Android launcher called Nova Launcher. So the reason I wanted to review this launcher is that going strong after eight years is a launcher that is still just as smooth, feature-filled, and bug-free as almost around the time that it came out. So I can pretty much say that I don't remember a time when it's given me an issue. Not to say that it's never given anyone issues, but it's a launcher that I find that is smooth, lightweight, and has a lot of features that makes me want to come back to it over and over. So with that, I'll jump into some of my favorite features that I like about it. So to start it off, let's say you want to change your wallpaper. It's as easy as pinching in on your screen and hitting wallpapers. And you can scroll through um, wallpaper that are def default to the um, app, or you can go to apps and themes. So if you have um, uh, icon pack install that has wallpapers, then you can load those as well. And you can um, set those up as a wallpaper, or you can um, pinch in, go to images on your gallery and set those up as well. So swiping through all of them, or swiping through your images is just that easy. So I can pick this picture, I can swipe over and I can set that if I want. When you hit set wallpaper, actually I'll go back and set it a little bit better than that, but when you hit set wallpaper, you can set it out for your home screen or lock screen or both of them. So it's a pretty nifty little feature there. Um, the other feature is the ease of access to your widgets. So when you click on widgets, you'll see all the widgets that are available for apps installed on your phone. And it will try its best to also include widgets for apps that are not part of, that are not, are more device specific. So for example, if I wanted to set my OnePlus weather widget, I could do that, whether it's that summary one there or the full one that comes as part of the full app. I can even include the cards packages. So if I have any cards saved in the OnePlus cards package, I can use that. So a pretty nifty feature there. If you want to adjust your home screens when you pinch in, you'll see that I only have one home screen, but if I swipe over to the right, I can click plus, I can set a, a new blank screen and I can, um, you, I can just as easily drag a app or I can set a app that I like. Um, from here, the other feature, nifty feature that I always like to sh um, show off is the resize and padding feature. So when I set the um, Google Play Music app or widget, um, I'll drag it down to the bottom. When you hold down on it, you get a move um, uh, menu to remove, set padding, resize, and app info. So when you hold down, I'll do resize so I can resize it to the full screen, but you'll see that there's padding around the widgets. So when you hold down on it, um, you can select padding and it'll do an edge to edge widget display. So a pretty nifty feature there. It's the same thing that I have set for my other widgets here. So that way um, it takes up as much screen on the space on the screen as possible, which is one feature I definitely like that it has over the OnePlus launcher. I don't, I haven't used um, Action Launcher for a while, so I don't know if that has it or other launchers like Niagara Launcher or Lean Launcher have implemented that. But because Nova Launcher has always had it, it's the one reason why I show it off. As far as settings go, you have your um, usual custom launcher options like setting your desktop grid from um, 2 up to 12 on the height and uh, width. You can set subgroup and positioning as well. You can set um, icon size, padding. Um, you can turn your dock on and off and you can have multiple dock pages so you can have up to five. If you set an infinite scroll then you can keep swiping through in one direction on your multiple dock pages instead of having to swipe left and right depending on where you are and having to remember where you are. And you can even set the number of dock icons anywhere from two to seven. So you can fit more icons if you want or more folders depending on um, how you want to set it up. Um, you can also have a search bar above your icons, below your icons, or even um, change your widget. So instead of the search bar, if you want the better, a better camera's widget, you can set that. If you want Chrome bar, um, uh, Google Play Music widget, to, uh, weather widget, anything like that, then you have all of those different options. Um, so I'll turn that off because I don't use it. But from there, if you want to set your wallpaper scrolling, you can do that. 
um, and then you can automatically add icons to your home screen, uh, lock your desktop, things like that. Um, and then from here, um, if you can, if you have similar options for your app drawer, so you can do anywhere from two to twelve on your height and width. Um, you can set up vertical, list, or horizontal. So if you want a horizontal layout, kind of like how you used to have on Android two to three, then there's that in as an option. Um, so I'll set that back just so I have it how I like. Um, then you can set your background transparency. So if you want to see your wallpaper through your app drawer, that's also an option. Um, as far as look and feel, you can set the speed of the app. So if you want something slow, to we have more time to view your animations, you can do that. Or if you want something fast that makes you not necessarily see all the animations, you can do that as well. You can set your app animation for sliding, blinking, whatever your system default is. Um, you also have gestures and input. For the most part, you are, when you install the free version, you get a couple of them. But um, if you do buy the pro version for, I think it's $4.99 or $3.99. I forget offhand because I've had it for so long. But you can do things like set double tap. So for me, I want to be able to easily access my um, private DNS. So uh, by double tipping and tapping on my home screen, I can access that. Also, by with the free version, you have to go all the way to the top of your screen to open your notification drawer. But if you have the pro version, you can um, swipe from anywhere. So there's that as well. Um, and that's really the bulk of it. And then you have other features like being able to back up your um, settings. So if you're switching devices, resetting your device or anything like that, then you have your settings set exactly how you want. Um, and then you can do things like um, lock your layout. So in your home screen settings, if you go down to advanced, you can lock your layout. So if you're giving your phone to someone who always messes up their home screen or you're going to, you know, you're going to be sharing it with people or you just find that you keep moving things around by accident, then you can lock your layout. So that way, when you try to move anything, like I want to try to move this widget, you're going to get a little uh, pop up notification or pop up box saying home screen is locked so you have to hold down on that lock button to unlock it so that's really the bulk of that launcher there so in all this recording you'll see that um, the speed of the uh, launcher has stayed the same the windows animation have the window animations haven't changed that much swiping left and right has stayed consistent so um that is the reason why I like it. The developers are constantly fixing bugs, updating features as um, Android version comes, like to implement new ways of navigation and animations and things like that. Um, and as a bit of related backstory, the app's been around since around 2012, the Android 4 Ice Cream Sandwich Day, so I always recommend the app. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you want to get in touch with me, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. If you want to get at reviews like this early, like the patrons did for this particular review then visit the patreon at patreon.com slash patel n01 where you also get um where i've shared access to these widgets where you can set them up using custom widget pro so once you got that installed uh you set you install the apk for these widgets and you can set these up so you get an all-in-one widget or an all-in-one music player or both um they will be rolling out to the, as of this recording on the public feed to the google play store for 99 cents so that's one of those perks you get by supporting the show on Patreon or buy me a coffee. But that is all there is for this particular review. So thanks for tuning in and until next time.